In this lesson, we're going to discuss the polar form, annular form of a complex number. If I were to start with a complex number z in the form x plus i y, now that's the algebraic form of z where x and y are real. And in the complex plane, we know that this complex number is represented by the point m of Cartesian coordinates x and y. However, we know that the point m can also be represented using its polar coordinates r and theta. And we've already seen in a previous lesson how to convert from polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates and from Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates. And using the polar coordinates of point M, we can represent the complex number Z using two possible forms, the polar form and Euler form. Now the polar form consists of writing Z in the form R into cosine theta plus I sine theta because of the fact that x is equals to r cosine theta and y is equals to r sine theta, which could also be abbreviated into r times cis theta. The cis is just an abbreviation of cosine plus i sine. However, Euler form would in fact consist of writing z in the form r times e to the i theta, where e to the i theta would be equal to cosine plus i sine theta. So the two forms are in fact equivalent. And finally, r is considered the modulus of the complex number z, which represents the distance between the image of the complex number m and the origin of the system O. And theta would be the argument of z, denoted by arc z, which represents the angle that segment OM forms with the horizontal axis.